everyone, I'm Jeff Bacala for CNET.com and today I'm counting down my picks for the best 15 games of 2013. We've got lots to do so let's jump right into it with number 15, Tearaway on PlayStation Vita. The creators of Little Big Planet did it again with the surprise portable hit that combined a great art style and ultra creative incorporation of the Vita's unique features. In at number 14 is DMC or Devil May Cry. Now DMC hit back in January and it delivered one of the best action games in years with its amazing and satisfying combo possibilities and respectful reimagining of the classic series. Now 2013 was a great year for indie games as well and at number 13 is The Stanley Parable. Easily one of the most unique games of the year, The Stanley Parable takes gamers on a self-reflective journey that pokes fun at video games in general. Odds are you've never played anything Something like it. Coming in at number 12 is Guacamelee, another surprise hit that first launched on Vita and PS3 simultaneously. The light-hearted platformer mashed great beat-em-up action with a cast of lovable characters. The indie love continues with number 11, which is Gone Home. This game tells the story of a young girl who returns home from traveling abroad only to find out that her family is gone. So what happened to them? Well, you have to play Gone Home to find out. Number 10 on the list is Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Now this downloadable title put players in control of two separate characters using both the left and right analog sticks to control both characters at the same time. The unique setup took puzzle solving to a brand new level. At number 9 is Rayman Legends, the sequel to the gorgeous 2D scroller we first played back in 2011. Legends not only looks amazing, but provides some of the best platforming we've seen in years. Landing in at number 8 is Saints Row 4. We didn't expect much from this one, but the game's over-the-top setting and addition of superpowers made it the ultimate sandbox experience. Coming in at number 7 is The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds for the Nintendo 3DS. Now not only is this a worthy sequel to the 1992 classic A Link to the Past, it's also likely the best 3DS game yet. Dropping anchor at number 6 is Assassin's Creed 4. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't liked an Assassin's Creed game in years, but AC4 totally delivers on every level, making it the most fun Assassin's game to play in the entire series. There's pirates, there's sea combat, plundering and looting. It's tons of fun, so you should check it out. So here we are, the top five. Now try and guess the remaining games as we jump into number five, which is Tomb Raider. The reimagined franchise delivered an explosive first entry with an origin story starring a much more badass Lara Croft. Fantastic gameplay, and believe it or not, it had tombs that you could actually raid. They were raidable tombs for the first time. That's amazing. An old familiar face takes the number four spot. It's Super Mario 3D World. Now I have to say, expectations for this one were a little low, but you can't argue with 3D World's incredible level design and sheer entertainment it provides. What the Super Mario Galaxy series did for the Wii, 3D World looks like it might be able to do for the Wii U. For number three, we look to the clouds at Bioshock Infinite and its floating city of Columbia. Now sure, the original Bioshock 1 might be the better game overall, but Infinite's ambitious gameplay, otherworldly setting, and mind-bending storyline make it one of 2013's most compelling experiences. Just make sure whatever you do, you don't get the ending spoiled for you if you haven't played it yet. I cannot stress that enough. So what's the runner-up to the best game of the year? It's The Last of Us. Developer Naughty Dog scared the absolute shit out of gamers this year with a tale of two unlikely partners having to team up during an apocalyptic fungal outbreak. Its gritty, hyper-realistic atmosphere, smooth gameplay, and unbelievable production value and acting cement The Last of Us as the number two game of 2013. And finally, the best game of the year is Grand Theft Auto V. Of course, this shouldn't be much of a surprise to anyone. GTA V killed it on every single level, creating the fully realized and interactive city of Los Santos that was absolutely brimming with personality and charisma. The game's roller coaster narrative featured fantastic and believable performances from an incredible cast that rendered some of the most memorable characters in recent years. GTA V successfully created an immersive experience unlike anything I've ever played, and it should be enjoyed by gamers of all kinds, of course, as long as you're old enough to play. 
That'll do it for the best games of 2013. Make sure to leave a comment on the post page. Tweet me online at Jeff Bagelar and check out the 404 show every day at CNET.com slash the 404. For CNET, I'm Jeff Bagelar. Thanks for watching.